Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. Today we're doing a super easy recipe, spatchcock air fryer chicken. The ingredients are easy. We have a whole chicken, olive oil, and the custom rub, which you will see down in the bottom for the full recipe for the custom rub. Now, I don't want to assume anything. So of course, first you're going to start out with a clean chicken. So I've already cleaned this chicken and freshened it up. When you come to doing a spatchcock, you're literally getting the back of the chicken out. And you'll see I'm referencing the inside of the chicken is clean. So you see the neck of the chicken and then you will also see the tail. That's what we're going to cut out. I suggest that you use kitchen shears. I do not think that you should try to do this with a knife because it's a little harder. Use kitchen shears, not regular scissors. Then you're going to cut out the back of the chicken. This process is pretty easy because the chicken itself will give you the guide. You'll know exactly where the back is and I usually flip it about halfway through to make the cutting process easier and you'll see the back is out and you might have to clean out some additional portions of the chicken. Don't throw that back away because you can certainly use it for broth. Next, you're going to take your olive oil spray. I like to use spray because it's a little easier, but you can certainly use regular olive oil. And then you have, of course, your rub, the custom rub. The recipe is down below. I actually have a bottle that's really easy to use for things like this. You can purchase it on Amazon or something like that. And you have the side where you will spray the chicken fully. You want to have the olive oil on the chicken before you add the seasonings because you want the seasonings to stick to the chicken. One of the things I wanna to mention too about this process is you can do this the night before so your chicken is nice and seasoned, um, but if you do decide to do the day of, kinda of season it up and let it sit for about 30 minutes at least so the seasonings can get all up in there. And then of course you want to flip your chicken to ensure that the seasonings are in there thoroughly. I usually set mine in a plastic bag and now we're ready to air fry. You'll see that the chicken is still very much seasoned. For me, I have a gourmet air fryer and so I like to spray down the basket of the air fryer before I put the chicken in there. That's just to ensure that the chicken does not stick to the surface of the basket of the air fryer. And then from there, I set the air fryer on the desired temperature. You'll see this chicken fits exactly inside the basket. I then set the temperature of the air fryer to about 375. I didn't quite put it all the way on 400. I put it on 375. As you can see, the camera is trying to focus. There we go, 375. After I had set the time on my, I mean the temperature on my air fryer, I then got the timer portion set and I set my timer to about 50 minutes. And you're going to do this in two parts. It's first I did for 50 minutes and then I came back and flipped the air fryer for another 30 minutes for the other side. So just stay tuned. After the first 50 minutes was up and I started this breast down, I'm sorry I didn't say that the first time, I started it breast down and I used tongs to flip it over and you'll see it's already getting nice and crispy but it's not quite there yet. I did have my temperature gauge to test the temperature of the breast. You don't necessarily have to have that but I like to use the temperature gauge to know exactly how much time uh, or what the temperature of the chicken is to make sure that it's done thoroughly. Then I placed it back into the air fryer for another 30 minutes and then you'll begin to see that crispiness that you're used to when you air fry something. So my in internal temperature was not quite there yet. As you can see, we're going for a higher temp and I'll put the comments in the comments below the uh, exact temperature that we're going for and then you'll see that after I placed it in there for the 30 minutes, it did reach 
match the internal temperature that we were looking for and our chicken our whole chicken excuse me was all the way ready and I mean it was just so easy I just really had to season it up and place it in the air fryer and now we have a nice crispy whole chicken it puts you in the mind of like a rotisserie chicken with the crispiness but still you have that moisture on the inside and of course I had to cut it up and enjoy it this chicken is something that you could definitely do and then cut up the portions for maybe like chicken salad or even something else just eating the chicken whole that's what we chose to do and added some barbecue sauce and it tasted just amazing if you enjoyed this video make sure you watch some of my other recipe videos I have more recipes and things coming for you thanks so much guys bye friends